like with the defense, how how close was this to sort of a regular season approach for, for you, like in terms of Shea and Ryan's minutes? Yeah, well, you know, what we're trying to do is, uh, you know, we're trying to accomplish two things. We're trying to just sort out the, the final pieces, and, and we're trying to get our core guys ready to play. I mean, one of the things that I've, uh, you know, I've learned over the years is I asked the top players how they get ready, and I had an opportunity at the All Star game two years ago. I'm um, not the All Star game at the um, uh, all the banquet in, in Vegas, and uh, talked to Nick Lidstrom, and I said, you know, you know, why do you play all those games at the end? You know, don't you want to rest before the season? And he said, no, I actually want to get prepared for the season because usually in training camp you're playing 15, 20 minutes a night, you know. And then all of a sudden you got you're playing 27, 30, and it's, you're not prepared to do that. You think you are, and you're resting, but it's really not conditioning you to to do those minutes. So uh, what we've been trying to do is just ramp everybody, especially the core players, uh, ramp their minutes up a little bit, to play a little bit more, and we've got a back-to-back coming up here. So a lot of those core players are going to play both games because we we start the season with back-to-back. Um, so it's just preparing for the for the season. So. Um, what we're trying to, that's that's the purpose of, of our core players and then obviously with the the others there's still some battles that are pretty close and it's and, and I, I was saying to the, the group this morning uh, the media this morning that we, we have a lot of players that are playing quite well in the mix and it might be as simply as just taking the 12 forwards that we think we can start with and um, you know getting through the first part of the you know, first few weeks, and then let it reassort. You know, we're, we're missing a Mike Fisher at the middle. We're missing, uh, you know, Frankie going on maybe on the back end, and he's starting to, to skate here. So, uh, you know, do we play Smith? And, you know, a guy like Craig Smith, who's we we tried him at the wing, we tried him at center. You know, we're trying different things, we're trying different combinations, just to to make sure that we're not missing anything. So, that, that's sort of what we've been doing. What was your, your take on Smith tonight in between your writings? He was fine. He was fine. I mean, I think what you're finding is that games are ramping up, and he was playing against, uh, you know, Nicholas Baxter, who was a pretty darn good player in this league. So um, that was a good test, and they did that, you know, on purpose. So uh, it, he, he did okay. I mean, uh, what he finds, uh, I think, when he's comfortable and confident, he, he just plays, and he's got a lot of ability and can do a lot of different things. So. Um, I, I was fine with him in the middle. Um, you, you mentioned Suter and Weber, but what about some of those other defensemen vying for spots? Guys like Hill and Laxo. Um, yeah, you know, they, they, you know, each night it's it's it's, it's a different guy. There's you know, there's different guys. That, you know, to me, I, I've got my four. I've got my four guys. I got Suter, Weber, Blum, and Klein. After that, they're still, uh, you know, sort of trying to sort it out a bit, and. Um, you know, I thought today Hillen had a really good game uh, on the back end. He's, he's got some veteran presence, but he was really good back there. Uh, Ekholm was, was fine. He had the one one stumble, I think, on the first ball. He had sort of his legs crossed up. But other than that, there, they've been pretty good. You, uh, just the preseason, I know, but winning games consistently, does that, can that have some carry? It can, have a, it can have a positive effect. I mean, you know, uh, I know one of the, you know, once the season starts, it'll be a total different ball game. And winning the preseason games uh, don't, doesn't matter a whole lot. But I've been on the other end where we didn't win a preseason game, or we had a real tough time winning. I think we won what were like one and five or something like that. You go into the season with the season with a little doubt. It doesn't. It, it breed, winning breeds winning. If you're if you're used to winning, you just you want it. You want it all the time. And so. You know, I know the, the games don't mean anything, and we just say every time we step on the ice, we're, we play for we want to play for keeps. We want to win the game, so uh, we don't want any passengers. So that's that's part of our culture. A lot of special teams tonight. Does that kind of help you? There's a lot. Yeah, well, yeah, there was a lot of special teams. It did help. It did help because, as you saw, that there was uh, a plethora of power play units that went out different combinations, and, that, and we're just trying different. Different people in different situations, and we're, we're really at a, a, a limited foundation of our power play. So um, we're just, from a from a standpoint, we're we're looking for you know who's who's going to be our best half wall guy, you know, in, in, in certain situations. You know, last year uh, Sergey was was really good on the half wall. One thing he didn't 
Uh, he didn't do it. Everybody in the league knew he wasn't going to shoot the puck, and it hurt our power play. So he's got to, you know, he's he's got to learn to shoot the puck. If he's not going to do that, then we'll find another spot for him. And uh, I know he wants to be in the power play, so uh, and he's a good player, and he will be on the power play. But I, I think getting an understanding and a competition for that that time uh, will serve us well. Smith and Wilson are the same age, and they've kind of taken two routes to get where they are tonight. Both had good games. Can you kind of compare their games? Well, both of them had, yeah, they both had good games. I mean, Smith is a, you know, they're almost polar opposites. Smith is a, he's got a lot, he's, he's pure speed, and, and um, he's got a real good skill level. Um, Willie's, a, he's got deceptive speed. He's not as, as smooth and, and polished in terms of the skating, but uh, Willie is a powerful man who can, can do a lot of different things. He's got a lot of deception to his game. And he's got those real quick hands, both of them do. And they're just, you know, they, they both have you know, matured in, in their, you know, with Smith at Wisconsin and, and Willie with us as a young player. So, you know, if you, if you look at your, you know, a couple guys that are creating some of those good offensive chances, they're the youngest players. So that's a, that bodes well for us. Even though the games don't count, um, still being able to see a guy like Wilson continue to score in brute force, it's got to help their confidence kind of going towards the regular season. Yeah, I think so. I think they're all vying for for those minutes and, and time, and, uh, and they're making it real tough for us. So I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with, a, with a lot of guys. I mean, like today, uh, you, you look at, you know, we got the first goal. And Wilson jumped on a, a on a on loose puck, came in late one, and you know he had a chance to, to, to bury it, and he did. Um, another great play, I thought Toots on the second goal, right after he scored, that had an opportunity to grab some momentum, and had a real great play by Toots, hanging on, good good poise, made a, a great play over to Howie. That was that was real key. Then and I thought in the in the third period when we we took some penalties, we had some big blocks, guys like uh, uh, Gabriel Bork who. I'm very happy with every time he's on the ice, something happens. He creates a loose puck, he creates some havoc, he gets a chance, stays, he's, he's just relentless on you. Um, uh, he, he's making big time waves for me, anyways, as a, with our team. And, and you know, he's, it won't be, it's not going to be long. If, if he doesn't stay with us at the start, it won't be long for his back because uh, he's, a, he's a good player. And, uh, the way he's played, he deserves to stay. On Wilson's shift before the goal, is that the, the kind of things that you're looking from him, the defensive play, and then going um, to the other end and, and scoring? Sorry. Wilson, his yep. goal, his shift, uh, the defensive play, and then going to the other end. I mean, is that yeah. the stuff you're looking for from him? Yeah, yeah. I think with, with, with Willie, you know, he's, he's such a good player in, in areas, and when he falls off, he, there's, a, there's a big drop off. When he loses his detail, he loses a little bit of his concentration, there's a big drop off. So the big the, the trick with Willie is that you know when he's a good player when he's not playing well or he's falling off he doesn't have such a big drop off and that's what we we really want him to be in that consistent um, good pro type of uh, situation where he can actually manage the game when things aren't going his way or he's not on top of his game. So I know over the summer that he had kind of a mental coach or something that, that he worked with and did, can you see the results of that? I mean, it looks yeah, it's, more it's, consistent. it's more of the focus, you know, that's, that's part of the mental training. One of the things that, uh, you know, we, we talk about a training, we talk about a training camp from almost day one is that, you know, all summer you spent most of your summer training your body to be fit and fast and strong and, and you actually, your mind is, is, is relaxed and you don't really get to train it. So, even in our practices, you know, staying detailed and, and really, we really pushed them hard this year. Um, that was part of the mental training. You know, when things are, when you're a little bit tired, how do you battle through that? How do you manage your surroundings? That's some of the things that we, we try to accomplish during training camp. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.